This pull-out test was performed using a short, ribbed reinforcement bar embedded to half the depth of a concrete cylinder. There is also a smaller cylinder of mesh inside the concrete to stop the concrete from splitting during the experiment. Initially there was no movement from the steel bar as an increasing tensile load was applied to it. However, as this load increased, the bar began to be slowly pulled from the concrete. The load then continued to increase up until around 41 kN where the bond failed. Past this point the load began to reduce, allowing the steel to be pulled more quickly from the concrete. The ribbing of the steel bar provided anchorage in the concrete so that the reinforcement did not pull as quickly or cleanly from the concrete as the plane bar. As the anchorage of this sample was overcome by the tensile load, the bar pulled free from the concrete. These pictures show the failure of the reinforced concrete specimen which has been removed from the testing machine. The failure load of this sample was greater than those achieved in the pull-out test for both of the plain steel bars. This is due to the increase in bond strength and anchorage between the steel and concrete when a ribbed steel bar is used. The ribs of the bar help to anchor the steel more firmly into the concrete and increase the strength of the bond.